Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, this weekend, here it is, it's March, I don't know, 28th, 27th, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is what we're lo looking at. So this is the pecan orchard. That's right, 150 trees, different varieties, all paper shell pecans. We planted them when they were little container grown trees, put in all the irrigation. So uh, people say, oh, I'm just gonna plant pecans and then they'll start giving me uh, all kinds of benefits down the road. Let me tell you what, there's a lot of work that goes into getting trees to this uh, stage. These trees here were planted in 2013, so they're about, uh, oh, what is that? Nine years old, eight years old. And actually they were probably a year older, so they're probably about nine or 10 years old, considering they were grown in containers for a while. So what have we done this weekend? Well, this is part of prep. Every spring we have to go through the same routine. The grass starts to grow. We're really busy being weekend warriors. So the, our only option, you know, is to come in here and weed eat around the base of the trees. And the reason we do that is because we have drip irrigation. We do not want to water weeds. We want to water the roots of that tree. So we'll come in here at first and what we did was uh, we needed a six foot circle around the base of every tree. That's right, 150 of them. Let me tell you what, my arms and shoulders and neck was sore from dragging that weed eater around. Now once we did that, we came back yesterday and we actually sprayed Roundup in a six foot diameter around the base of each tree. Uh, the next thing that we've done, we came in here and we're in the process of pruning these trees. So we have pruned a hundred and, well, let's see, 120 of these trees is what we've pruned so far. And what we do when we're pruning, you can see some of the sticks laying on the ground. We want everything going up to support the weight of the pecan. So if you have a limb that's actually growing straight down, it will get so heavy from the weight of the pecans, it'll actually break off. So we want everything at a 45 degree angle and going up to the sky to make a big, beautiful arching tree. So uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of limbs. There's a bunch of little bitty limbs that come off. So here's another example of one that we did. So we came in, you can kind of see around the, the base what we've actually cut off, which is part of the work too, because now we'll have to come back and pick all of those limbs up, but I'm, I'm gonna recruit some help, AKA my daughters for that one. And you come through here and once again, we want everything growing up. Honestly, this limb right here, see how it's growing down towards the ground, even though it had pecans on it last year, the reason it probably grew down was the weight of the pecans. So uh, we really need to do a little more pruning on this tree. Like this branch right here, how it's on the bottom, you see, that's just gonna be weighted down over time. We need strength going up. But that's what we did, 150 of them. So what's the next step? We'll now come back, uh, now that we have a nice little circle around the base of each tree, which is basically the drip line of the uh, limbs, we're gonna come in here and fertilize them probably in the next week or two, which is some uh, 15, 15, 15, 12, 12, 12, nothing really potent, just some nice fertilizer. Probably put out somewhere in the neighborhood of three pounds per tree is what I'm thinking, sprinkled around a uh, six to eight foot diameter. So really allow that nitrogen and fertilizer to soak in in the uh, spray radius. The other thing that happens every year is you find out very quickly that over the course of the winter, the hogs have been in here, which I just really can't believe it. But let me show you some of this hog damage. The grass is coming up so you can't really tell, but right here, look at how uneven the soil is. Like right here, for example, you can see just big clods that they have rooted up. Well, when they do that, they come in here and the hogs actually, they tear up your sprinklers. You see how here's your sprinkler line, here's the sprinkler itself. So out of 150 trees, there's probably a good 60 or so, or 70 that are gonna require some minor sprinkler repair. So there's one. You can come over here and you can just absolutely see another one. 
right there. See how the uh, hose is disconnected? Look at this hog damage here, and look at this big clump where they just rooted all of that up. So that's the next step, fertilizing. Once we fertilize, we'll come back. We'll actually uh, fix all the sprinkler heads. We'll do a test run to see what's working and what's not. Try to get all of this in place while the weather is somewhat cool. We probably won't start watering until like uh, the middle of May or the end of May, and then we'll get the schedule going. But uh, just a lot of work, man. A lot of work to get a pecan orchard looking this way. The other thing that's about to happen is as soon as we get bud break, which we're pretty close. We are pretty close. You can see those little buds on the end of the branches. Look right, look right there, that's almost bud break. So once we get green leaves on the trees, we immediately have to start spraying zinc. And at the same time we spray zinc, we'll be spraying uh, probably something like Warhawk or uh, some type of uh, insecticide to keep the bugs off of it. And uh, zinc, zinc and more zinc. Pine trees love zinc. So uh, then the last thing we'll do is we'll come back and we'll actually uh, spray Roundup down our lanes just so that it keeps it looking nice and pretty during the summer but more importantly it has a purpose and that purpose is that we don't want these trees competing against the grass we prefer the roots and everything to have total access to all the nutrients and not the grass so we'll put a lane the other reason we put lanes that go actually down the rows is come harvest time so when we get to harvest time and the pecans start to fall you're not trying to dig them out of three four five six ten inch grass uh, you can see them they're laying on fair dirt easy to pick up and uh, go from there all right so uh, this is spring pecan orchard management at heritage farms texas hey guys do me a favor hit the thumbs up leave a message please subscribe it costs absolutely nothing if you want to learn more about pecans and what we're going to be doing you know, click the little bell and you'll get future notifications. Beautiful, beautiful spring day at the end of March. Can't believe April's almost here. Look at that, Heritage Farms, Texas. And hey, glory be to God. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.